What's going on guys, it's Nexus XL here and today we are going to be doing something new. We are going to be doing a series of best attachments um, for Sledge. Or we're going to start with like SAS right now. So um, let's get started. So we're going to do Sledge first. Alright, so in my opinion, I would probably go the LA even though I had the shotgun in. Just to, I was just playing around with it. But I would probably go the LA. <laughs> I would, for um, iron sights and all that, I would probably go either holographic or ACOG. It depends really what map you're on. Like, say, Favela or anything like that, I would probably have ACOG on. But for like those close those close range maps, like um, plane, house, I would go holographic. So like, just so you guys know. Switch to barrels. I would go <clears throat> flash hider because the L8 has some um, damage or not damage recoil, um, and it's just this controls the recoil greatly, if anything. All right. Now for the grips, I would go vertical grip just to control that recoil again, and that's for sledge for my L8. Okay, and then I'd go for. The SMG-11, I think, is probably the most powerful, like, not powerful, but, um, probably the most useful, pis like, automatic pistol, that kind of thing. So I would go, what I, what attachment sights I would put on it is holographic, because of what it says, replaces iron sights with a holographic precision sight. It provides precision with your gun. And then I would go extended barrel just if you're in long range distance of someone, then you could just pick them off easily. And then I would go vertical grip, just to control recoil for this gun, because it has pretty bad recoil, I would say. All right, and I don't use this pistol, so I have nothing on it. And then I'd just probably go the frag grenade. It's your pick, either one would be good. All right, next one, Thatcher. Okay, so same here. I go probably LA or AR-33. I'd probably recommend the LA. So what I have on my, on my LA for the sights, I would probably go with like same thing. Like if you're on Favela, you want ACOG. And if like like big maps like Favela and all that, you want to have an ACOG just to um, get those long range, you know. And um, for holograph, I would get holographic if you're on a small map. So, either one would be good on it dep on depending maps. And for barrels, I put flash hider again since the L8 has some pretty it has recoil on it. So, yeah. Um, grips, I would put vertical grip, and it's your decision if you want laser or not. Because just for laser, I'll probably like in like a close situation when someone's like in front of me. It's like two feet away, I'll hit fire them. I'm not gonna aim it. So yeah. For the AR-33, I have, same thing. Holographic or Haycom. I said that in the previous, just in case. And for this, I would put the compensator because it reduces the recoil spread over time. So if you're just like, if you're just like that guy who just sprays the gun at the person and like you don't one tap, you'd probably need the com comp compensator. <laughs> um, or the muzzle brake. I would probably go for the compensator though. And then um, for my grips, I always put vertical grip on. Just like, see if you see the recoil pattern in the down, the bottom right. It says like, if you aim at chest, it'll automatically direct you to the head. So it's more chance of getting a headshot. All right, and then for, I don't have anything for the shotgun, I just keep it normal. And for my <clears throat> MK25, I put just a suppressor on it, just in case of, I don't know, just to keep stealthy sometimes, just in case. You can switch it quickly. All right, that was defending operators right now of SAS. Now we're gonna go on to, um, wait, no, attackers, I meant. And now we're gonna be going on to the um, defenders. So let's start with the smoke. I will probably go with the uh, FMG9. 
because this gun, it's the recoil is just. I think it's pretty good, of like what it has, because it just has, literally on chest. But like, I usually want guns that the recoil spread goes to the head. But either one's fine. <coughs> I would go red dot, because this, it's close range and long range at any time. So, I would recommend that, and I would put flash hider just. I mean, even the recoil is small, I would just still keep it close. Because you don't want um, a gun that, like the pistol, the, what is it called? Revolver. It, w when you shoot it, the recoil just goes up. And you don't want a gun like that. So, um, I would recommend the flash hider. All right, and then for my shotgun, I just put a um, holographic on it just to, I don't know. Just if I'm aiming in. And then for the same thing, SMG 11. The SMG 11 is just such a great machine pistol. I would always use it if you have it, if you have the opportunity of it. So what I have on it is holographic or vertical grip, because this just helps a whole bunch. Because this gun has a whole bunch of re recoil. And you just want to keep your recoil low. And then for barrels, I don't really have anything, because, I mean, you could put, I have it on the, defending for extended barrel, but like, it's kind of pointless in defending, not really, but I just wouldn't use it on my opinion, but you could use it if you need to. And it depends what map, really. And let's see, for my, I got an impact grenade, I would always probably use that, because smoke is more of a roamer, not a defend, like stay in room. So like, that's what I would recommend, impact grenade. Okay for mute. What I have, keep on him is the MP5K because this gun, it doesn't have much of recoil because like what I said, I like how it, um, the recoil goes to the head technically. Uh, so yeah, what I put on it is probably red dot, like what I said, yeah. close range or long range. And I would put the compensator because this gun, I like the recoil on it, but like, yeah. see why I put the compensator is because like flash hider and muzzle break, it doesn't go to the head completely unless you keep firing. But like the compensator, it would just shoot you, just right, just shoot like at least probably like 10 bullets and it'll lead to the head and you'll get that headshot. So that's probably what you need. And then for the MK25, I just keep it regular, just keep it normal. But yeah. So that's the video, guys. Um, hope you guys liked it. Just tell me if you want to like, do see more of these um best attachments. And yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys like and subscribe, and see.